Now I am going to teach you how to find out the data using tally mark. Did you hear tally mark? Was it, what is it? Have you heard this term before? So I told the name as tally mark. So what do you mean by this term? It's totally new for us, right? So what is this called as? Tally mark is nothing but we are representing the data using the vertical line. Okay. For example, if I have to mark say 4, how will I represent it in tally mark? I will be drawing 4 vertical lines, 3, 4. Is it clear? Now, if I want to do 6, how will I do? 1, 2, 3, 4 and my fifth line should be a slanting line. Always remember it. This is the only thing which we have to keep in mind while doing the tally mark. Always my fifth line will be in a slanting line and the remaining lines will be vertical. So here when I say 6, I will be drawing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th will be my slanting line and 6 will be my vertical line again. Shall we do some more? Okay. So here it is. Say if I want to do 7, how will I draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, then slanting line 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, say example, I want to draw 10. How will I draw? If I want to draw 10 means it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, then a slanting line 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9 and slanting line 10. So, there will be two slanting line which means here we are following the skip count of 5. Okay. The skip count of 5 will be followed by a slanting line. Is it clear children? Now, if I want to draw say 13, how will I draw? Can you help me in drawing it? Yes. So, how will do? 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, again a slanting line, 11, 12 and 13. Is it clear? Shall we do some more? Okay. Now tell me how will you draw 20? How we will draw 20? 1, 2, 3, 4, then a slanting line. 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, again a slanting line. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Planting line 15, then 16, 17, 18, 19 and the slanting line 20. So, how many slanting line we had in all? 1, 2, 3 and 4. We had 4 slanting lines. So, is it clear children? Tally marks are usually denoted by a vertical line and the fifth line of each tally mark will be denoted by a slanting line line. So, why do we have to do this tally mark children? What is the point in doing it? Are we just doing it for say uh, for some fun or is there any point behind it? The reason is because for the smaller numbers it is easy for us to count the lines. Right. Now, say for example, if the same thing I had to draw 20 lines and I just keep on drawing like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Suppose if I draw like this, compare this one and the this one, which is easier for you to understand? This, right? Because it gives us a note that after each four line, there is a fifth line. So, it is easy for us to count. We can count like 5, 10, 15, 20. It is easy for me to divide and count. Whereas in this case, I need to count each and every line uh, tell me how many lines are there in total. 
So it makes our work easier and it makes us also understand that if we know the table of 5, it is easy for us to do the calculation and to denote the numbers given on the question. Okay. So based on this, can, shall we do some questions? I am going to ask you a question again. I will be giving you a data and based on the, that data, we will be drawing tally mark to find out what is the answer for that particular question. Okay. So now my question is the table given below shows the interest of children interest of children of class 2. Okay, so did you understand the question? Now I am going to furnish a table which will tell me the interest of children who are studying in class 2. Okay, so here is my table. Okay, so now here is the sports. Okay, here is the number of children. Okay, and the third column we are drawing for our convenience. Okay, so the third column will be my tally marks. Okay. So the first sport is cricket, the second sport is hockey, the third sport is football, the fourth sport is basketball. Okay. We will draw a last column as total. So let us know like how many children are there in all. Okay. So now say for example I have say 25 kids who like cricket. Then I have say 22 children who like hockey. I have 30 children who likes football. And I have say 33 children who likes basketball. So, my next is I am going to total the number of children present in class 2. Okay. So, shall we do it? So, 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So, I have total of 110 children who are studying in class 2. Okay. Now, the same thing I am going to represent in tally mark. So, how are we going to represent in tally mark? Say I will make this column a little more big so that it is easy for us to do the tally mark calculation. Okay. So, since we are drawing the lines using the vertical lines, so it may be possible for us to get the column extended. Okay. So, now the first one says 25. How am I going to draw 25? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25. Is it clear? Next, we are going to draw 22. How am I going to draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. Okay. So, we have 4 columns which uh, 4 tally marks which has a slanting line and the 5th one is just the 2 numbers, 2 vertical lines. Okay. The next one says 30. How am I going to draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Clear? Is it clear children? So, the next one says 33. How are we going to draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We have 33. So, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, we have done the first step which is drawing the tally mark. Okay. Now, my first question is, how many children like basketball. Okay. So, you need to check the column here. So, how many children are there? There are 33 children, right? So, my answer is 33. Next question says, which sports is enjoyed the most? by the majority. Okay. So, again you need to find out the table to find which sports is being enjoyed the maximum. So, 25, 22, 30, 33. So, what is my answer? It is basketball. Right. So, basketball is the game which is enjoyed by majority. Okay. My next question is, which sports is opted by the lesser population? So, you need to find out that which is the game which less number of kids have opted for. So, what is it children? Very good. It is hockey which is only 22. So, 22 children have opted hockey which is the least number. Okay. The next question is what is the count of children who loves cricket. So, we need to check it out. How many children have opted for cricket? So, how many is it? Good. It is 25. So, 25 children have opted for cricket. So, is it easy to understand and do children? Shall we do some more sums based on the same pattern? 